Teams 24 is officially over and Atlassian dropped some major announcements, which we're going to be recapping in this video. So if you didn't watch the keynote or you didn't get a chance to attend Vegas, then this video is going to hopefully wrap it all up for you and give you what you need to know out of Team 24. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you take a second here to subscribe, drop a like if you get value, and let me know in the comment section what's your favorite announcement. What are you most looking forward to? And most importantly, there's a fun little game for you insiders here. Drop in the comments, when do you think these features are going to be turned on? Because nothing got dates and everything was like, it will be available very, very soon. And I just want to know, what are your estimates? What are your predictions? When do you think we're going to get these announcements? All right, let's start off talking about the Founders Keynote, which is where all the product announcements were made. And we're going to kick things off with Robo. All right, so what exactly is Robo? So at last, I basically introduced a brand new product called Robo. And this takes essentially what is Atlassian intelligence and puts it on steroids. It is something that I think is going to really, really revolutionize the industry. It's something that goes well beyond what we commonly know as like ChatGPT. And I think, in my opinion, it competes a little bit closer with like Microsoft's Copilot. Robo is designed for productivity. The Robo is designed for teams and companies to really be able to just take their productivity to the next level. And so Robo is going to be a standalone product. This is something that you, if you're an Atlassian customer, you will have to go and buy Robo like you would buy Jira or Confluence or, or any of the other products. So this is its own priced item. This is not built in like Atlassian Intelligence is, where it's just part of the UI and it's part of the product. This is a whole new thing. And I don't know how much it's going to cost. They didn't really give any numbers, but it is going to be, I wouldn't expect this thing to be cheap. It looks like Atlassian has been investing a lot of money into this. So I would expect this thing, this thing to be, I want to say expensive, but it's going to be worth its weight because it's essentially going to streamline your, your workflow, right? It's going to streamline the way your teams work. So one of the cool things that I think um, Rovro is going to be really, really powerful with is this whole find answers faster with an AI powered search. And what makes this really truly powerful is that regardless of where your data is within your Elastian ecosystem, Robo is going to be able to help make answers for you and your team. So whether something's in a Jira ticket or in a Confluence page or in Compass or wherever, right? It, wherever it's at, Robo is going to have that context of awareness and be able to find information and data for you. And so again, this is just going to take things to the next level because it's one thing to just do a search, right? Just a, a, at face value search, Robo goes way beyond. It understands intention and it understands context. And it's going to be able to find all those answers, all those queries, all those meanings to like, what's the meaning of life type of thing uh, with, with all the access to all the different data that it has. So I'm very, very excited for all this. I think this is going to be really, really cool, especially the ability to, to again, tap into all the products. Now, how, this is coming together is that last is going to be putting together uh, natively into the products, the robo functionality, but you as a developer will also be able to leverage the power of forge and be able to create your own robo like uh, add ons, if you will. And marketplace vendors are also given the ability to create their own as well. So you're going to be able to buy very specific, very, very niche focused uh, robo, what they call robo agents, so that they can help with you and your data and just just really bring everything to life. So really, really excited for robo. Again, don't have much information. I'm gonna try to get onto an early access program if I can, especially now since I'm a champion, might be able to get that data. So as soon as I get access to robo, expect some videos. But for now, I'm just gonna drop this link in the description down below so that you can read through this entire article. But yeah, uh, needless to say, Teams24, Mike made a post on LinkedIn a few weeks ago where basically you can't spell Atlassian without AI. And so the announcements were very, very much AI focused. And what I really liked about this robot announcement is that they totally pulled a Steve Jobs moment where it was like a one more thing type of thing. So really, really kudos to Mike for pulling that off. Um, I think this was really cool. But yeah, definitely read through this entire article. This is just scratching the surface. Lots happening within Robo. I think Atlassian is really, really proud of this new product introduction here. Uh, and yeah, so join the waitlist today. Next up, the next big thing that they announced was basically the next era of Jira. Now, this is where I'm a little bit more, uh, I don't, cautiously optimistic, I guess is the right word that I want to use. 
I'm excited. They are revamping Jira. And, and one of the most important things is that we are combining Jira software and Jira work management to create Jira. And so this is just going to simplify things. They're going to bring the best of Jira software, the best of Jira work management, put it all together, and we're now just going to get Jira. And I think this is going to be a good thing for folks. I actually got to meet Dave Meyer here, who is a big supporter of the channel. So special shout out to Dave here for just meeting with me and taking a picture with me. But yeah, so Jira is not for all teams. And so this is going to basically open up a new opportunity, a new, a new use case, I think, of how folks interact with Jira. I used to love just saying that Jira is for agile based teams. And, and I think I think agile is taking a back seat now. And I think at last is really just focusing on the team aspect of stuff and just focusing on like just being efficient, being collaborative, being communicative and just not letting the methods and the processes and the frameworks get in the way of just progress. And so this is going to be very evident here with how last is moving forward with Jura where there's a whole lot less focus in boards and sprints and Kanbans and epics and stories like that's kind of taking a back seat. And now you're going to be uh, enabled to do whatever makes sense for you and your team. And so this is going to create some interesting perspectives. This is going to create some interesting use cases. I think folks are going to have to maybe relearn or rethink about how Jira is using their organization. So definitely expect brand new videos from me. I almost feel compelled to have to redo all 600 of my videos because this changes a lot, right? Like I think fundamentally, this is just going to be such a pivotal change transformation really in how we use Jira that it is going to warrant basically teams to not necessarily relearn Jira because I think it's still going to look and feel the same, but you are, you're giving much more potential. I think it unlocks a new creative way to use Jira and I'm excited to, to bring that new perspective. So as soon as I get my hands on the new Jira, uh, rest assured again that I'm going to be dropping new videos. So anyways, I will also drop this link here, the next era of Jira so that you can read through what this is looking like. There is a new UI. So if you can zoom in here, you can see that Jira is going to get a new UI. And so gone will be that navigation on the top, that that navigation bar that has been something that we've all used and come to depend on. It's going to be changed, right? It's going to basically go sideways. So I'm getting uh, when I first jumped into Jira Cloud back in 2020, this is kind of how it used to look, although this is much prettier than that old UI. Uh, but this is really nice. So I, I really appreciate this goals uh, another cool little thing that they just kind of snuck in there atlas is kind of dead it's kind of gone and it's now just embedded into jira and so goals is just going to play a, a key pivotal role here it's going to be front and center uh, teams is going to play a, a big huge pivotal role and the ability to track progresses like this i think is going to be exciting for a lot of people we're going to finally get meaningful executive level metrics that I think folks are going to be very, very excited for this, this right here, this picture, I'm asked for this picture a thousand times every single day. So the fact that I'm going to be able to do this natively with Jira, mm, beautiful. All right. So a lot of stuff happened here. Um, obviously a lot going on with the Atlassian intelligence. Again, if you're a premium or enterprise user, lots coming your way with respect to Atlassian intelligence being baked in what you can do within Jira confluence and all the other products. So, Lots of cool things. Again, I can't talk about them all because they're on the keynote. I'll link the keynote, which we're going to talk about in just a couple of seconds here in the description down below. But watch the keynote. You get a better appreciation for what they introduce. Better job. What I'm going to be doing is once all these features roll out, I'm going to be making videos on how to use them so you become familiar with them. But yeah, lots and lots happening. This list view is now a thing. It's rolling out. It's some people today have list view, but it's coming. And most importantly, we're getting calendars, folks. We're getting calendars inside of Jira. And that's amazing because we had them in Jira work management as something that I wish Jira software had, but now because they're the same, we get calendar. So this is going to, again, revolutionize just how teams communicate. So I'm very, very excited. Increased decision making. Like it's just, it's going to be great. We're it's the plans is all being folded in. So no longer we're going to have this advanced roadmap section that is like kind of segregated. It's just going to be built into your project and we're going to have greater uh, advanced roadmaps capabilities built in natively into the Jira project itself. So Again, very, very excited. And then there's Loom, right? There's the 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 way that Confluence and Loom are going to connect with Jira. It's just going to, it's it's just, it's getting better and cleaner. And I'm very, very excited for it. I think Atlassian, great job here. And then one other big announcement that they have is Atlassian Guard. So if you are a cloud user, which unfortunately, again, I haven't addressed this elephant in the room, but if you are an Atlassian customer and you're not in the cloud, you are missing out a lot because 
I don't think there was a single announcement for data center. It was all cloud. And when you're in the cloud, you most likely have Atlassian access, especially for premium, especially for enterprise customers. And Atlassian Guard here is now the next iteration of Atlassian Access, where it basically takes Atlassian Access, which was launched in 2018, and it takes Beacon, which was announced last year, and it's been in beta for the last year, and it puts them both together to get essentially Atlassian Guard. And so Atlassian Guard will have a standard plan and a premium plan. The standard is essentially what Atlassian Access is today, and the premium was going to be basically folded in all the Beacon stuff into it. So what do you get with this? right? You're going to be able to detect and investigate suspicious behavior. So if you got rogue employees or just rogue actors happening inside of your environments, that's going to be taken care of. And you're going to be able to label your sensitive work with data classification levels. Um, there's just a whole lot. You're going to be able to respond to threats before they become incidents. And so you're going to get a lot of metadata as to who's doing what, what's going on in your Atlassian instances. So very, very powerful stuff. I think this is going to be a cool thing for your administrators and i'm personally looking forward to doing this one now of course Atlassian bills are going to go up because you're going to want premium to get all those cool bells and whistles but good thing for your Atlassian stock not so good for your it budgets and then finally i'm going to drop this link down below this is the team 24 event page now all the sessions if you paid for your ticket are going to be uh, available to you I do know that some sessions, not all of them, but some sessions I think do become available on demand for a small period of time that you can watch. So definitely check them out. But this is the link where you're going to want to come in here and see what's available. Um, I think if, though, if you do have your ticket, you get access to a lot more. But if you just if you didn't get a ticket, highly recommend you check this page out because at the very least, you want to check out the the interview with Dr. Feifei. You want to check out the conversation with the Ted Lasso crew. And then, of course, you want to watch the keynote that basically talks about all, all the features, all the new exciting features that Alaska is going to be dropping over the next 12 months. That's pretty much it for this video. Teams 24 was an overwhelming success. I just had a blast connecting and meeting everybody. Obviously, these product announcements is one of the big reasons why we go. And I'm just excited. I think Alaska did some really cool things here, announced some really cool stuff. And I'm excited to try them out. And you can bet that as soon as I get my hands on these things, I'm going to be dropping a new video. So make sure you take a second here to subscribe to this channel. Drop a like on this video and hit that bell notification so that you can get notified when these videos drop. Because Atlassian, they just continue to push the envelope here. And this channel is going to evolve as Atlassian evolves. So definitely make sure you stick around and I'll see you in the next one.